Hi and welcome to this very short presentation on the secret to financial freedom. It's John Brandt here from YourSuccessResources.com Well as if it ever felt like in your life you aren't in charge of your time, if you haven't got enough time in the day, maybe someone else makes the decisions about what you do, you're bored, stressed and only really working for the money or, or you feel like you've got obligations that always seem to come first or you're, or you're one of these people that's just looking forward to retirement. Well, most of us can relate uh, to this at some sort of level. Now, at Your Success Resources, we define financial freedom as having enough money every month so you can do what you truly want. So what's the secret to getting control back in our lives? Well, most of us have been sold the following plan. Work hard at school to get good grades, Find a well paid and secure job or career, buy the best house you can afford and, and luxuries you can afford, save money and retire on a pension. Now the thing to realise is that first and foremost the banks have a first charge on our houses and on, and on our money via mortgages, loans and credit card debts. Now, if you work in a job and exchange your time for money the people in control of your money are also in control of your time. So the secret to getting financial control back into our lives is to understand that the government and the banks love this plan because we pay lots of taxes and get into lots of debt. So in other words the system works just fine as it is. The bank and the government will not help you. You must change your relationship to debt yourself. To help illustrate what I'm saying, a few years back before credit crunch time my wife and I went to the bank to ask for a remortgage on our house. We wanted to use the money to help with a deposit on a purchase of a rental property which is going to make more than £200 per month every month. What we told them, when we told them we wanted to uh, use the money as a deposit on a buy to let house they turned us down flat. They confirmed that they would authorise the remortgage, but only if we were going to make home improvements, purchase a car or go on holiday. Now the lesson there, very clearly for me, was that it's not in the bank's interest for you, or us, or me to get out of debt unless we, are, unless we already are old and can no longer work for them. Now one of the key things that you need to understand if you are going to become financially free is the difference between good debt and bad debt. Now some of you may have read Robert Kiyosaki's great book Rich Dad Poor, da Poor Dad which explains some of the simple differences between good and bad debt. Now the best way I can explain good and bad debt is that good debt is debt that makes you money every month. Bad debt is debt that costs you money every month. So bad debt is created through purchasing things that don't make you any money. Good debt is using other people's money to make you money. Or in other words, good debt actually moves us towards financial freedom and bad debt moves us away from financial freedom. And using this definition, although you might benefit from some capital gains on your own house, on the mortgage on your house, actually mortgages on a house is bad debt. So to conclude, it's not your boss you need to tackle first if you want to become financially free, it's your relationship with money and debt and the banks. If you use your debt wisely you can, like millions of others before you, propel yourself to financial freedom within a few short years.